Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Rexanne. I hope you are having a wonderful evening. We're going to pray and I'm going to get into this word. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for being with me tonight. I thank you for getting a hold of my words and speaking through me. I thank you for bringing people to my channel who this word is for. And I just ask that you would let my words bring them hope and encouragement tonight. And um, I just, I do, I just thank you for this, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with a little story. Um, actually, it was... <laughs> I have been um, really struggling with just holding on to everything that the Lord spoke to me and showed me. And I know that I have like friends that that struggle with the same thing. And um, so the other day, one of my friends, Elise, happened to, um, she left me a few messages, but one of the things that she said like it was so crazy because um the night before i had read this in the bible like i had literally read um this verse uh it's in romans 8 um and it's verse 19 it says for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of god to be revealed and she had literally said to me in her message she's like i wonder if we are the children of god that creation is waiting for us to be revealed. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's, wow. You know, like it really resonated with me. And just the fact that I had read that particular verse out of all the verses in the Bible that I could have re re read, read, wow. That's the one that I happened to. And um, so like, okay, so then, um, I woke up the other morning and I had this, um, I, I remembered a part of my dream. I have not remembered my dreams lately. I felt like that part of my um, life was under attack. And so, but I, I remembered a part of one of my dreams and my friend Carla was in this particular dream and she highlighted the word prime she she was leaving me a voice message in the dream and she highlighted the word prime so i looked up the word prime and um i'm going to share with you what it means it's very cool and most of the time the the word prime is used as an adjective and the two definitions for prime um that are listed are of first importance or main so like to use it in a sentence like um like somebody's prime concern and then number the the second definition is of best possible quality or excellent and like so you know prime uh this says prime cuts of meat <laughs> but um anyway then uh, it's also used as a noun. It can be used as a noun and the definition for it when it's used as a noun is it's absolutely my favorite one. It is a state of time of greatest strength, vigor, or success in a person's life. Now that really resonated with me and I'll tell you why it did because, um, well, the Holy Spirit knows your the deep cries of your heart and the things that you don't even want to admit that you're dealing with. And something that I haven't wanted to admit is that I have been like afraid that I missed mine, you know, afraid that it was over and it was just time to, you know, cut my losses, move on and just, you know, do the best I can until I die type of thing. <laughs> and that sounds really sad, but you know what? There's a lot of people I feel like that are out there and that feel that way, that they feel like the best years of their life are, are gone, you know, that they're done, that they're over. And um, I just felt like the Lord was highlighting this for a reason, that he was saying, you know, you have not seen the best years of your life yet, but you are going to. And... um. 
and for her to like for Elise then to come along and say I wonder if we're the children of God that creation awaits um, for you know to be revealed it was just like that makes sense in that context and also um, the other thing is that night I was in my Bible again and I happened to randomly flip open to um, Psalm 145 and um, but Psalm 145 um, and this is starting in verse 13 and the second part of the verse it says the Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does the Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down the eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. And so that really gave me a lot of hope. And a Stick to it. Don't, don't give up. Don't abandon your hope. And, um, you know, it just, it did. It really made me stop and think about everything and and um and just have hope for you know the future and for the now you know like okay also this is this is really interesting too i just happened to see this um because uh i had read romans 8 but i have this highlighted and i just my eyes kind of went to it earlier and it says that but hope okay this is uh romans 8 verse 24 and I'm starting in the second part of the verse. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. And um, oddly enough, I this next verse mentions something that I mentioned earlier in, in this video. It says, in the same way the Spirit helps in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. So it was like I was saying earlier, you know, that I have that deep-seated fear that, you know, I my prime was over and gone and that you know this this was this was it you know like this is this is it just this is as good as it gets you know and i mean like not to say that you know things aren't good or that i'm not you know happy or that i'm not like blessed or that i'm not content but like you know like you when you have a promise from god and he shows you something and it, ha it hasn't happened yet and it's like life is looking the opposite kind of of what he showed you it can be very disheartening um it says in proverbs i can't remember where it's at but it says hope deferred makes the heart sick but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life and um so if you've you know gotten a promise from god and it hasn't been fulfilled yet and you're like just holding on to it, it it can definitely get it can definitely get disheartening and it can be hard to hold on sometimes and i just want to shout out to all my friends out there that have you know continued to um pray for me and uh lift me up during this wilderness season and during this you know just during all of this because it's it, it has it's been hard and I know that there's a lot of us out there that have been given a promise and that have not received it yet and so to us I want to just say you guys don't give up um God is faithful I mean if 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 you are faithful it's because your faithfulness is from God and so he how much more faithful is he you know if if you can look at yourself and honestly see good in you and you it's because it comes from God. It's because, you know, like, if you think of the, the most cool person in your life, you know, take that and then times it by infinity and you have God. So, <laughs> um, 
Anyway, I really hope that this video has blessed somebody, encouraged somebody to keep going, to keep holding on, and just to uh, realize that you have not yet entered your prime, but you're about to. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what the enemy has screamed at you. Um, the Lord shared this with me for a reason. And I believe that he even picked Carla to be the one to tell me for a reason because, um, and I hope she doesn't mind if I share this, but Carla is a few years older than myself. And, um, you know, like if I've been sitting here thinking, man, I bet I missed out on everything. And I bet like the, the best years of my life are behind me. You know, God was showing me that, you know, Carla is has yet to come into her prime and so like he's got that for all of us he's got that for all of us if you are going after the Lord then rest assured that he's got that for you too um so I hope this has encouraged you and blessed you and you guys have a wonderful evening I will see you in the next video